With the NFT sector experiencing exponential growth, I'm gonna take you through one of the biggest, if not the biggest exchange and marketplace for NFTs called OpenSea. This is where you can buy, sell, and trade your NFTs with others to maybe buy yourself a brand new avatar for a profile picture, collect in-game items, or even get yourself some fancy digital artwork. Now, this is quite a new industry and it is one that is thriving and I expect this trend to continue. So let's familiarize ourselves with OpenSea and exactly how it works. And if you enjoy the content in today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also join our NFT chat through our private Discord. A link to Patreon is below. So here we have OpenSea, and this is doing millions of dollars of daily trade now as people exchange their collectibles one for each other and try to flip them for profits in a wide variety of different industries from the likes of collectibles through to digital artworks. Now, in order to utilize this platform, you're going to need an Ethereum wallet to connect to this. So MetaMask, for example, if you don't know how to set up a MetaMask account, I'll leave a link down below, check out the description. And of course, you're gonna need some Ethereum for fees and purchasing these assets. So the first thing to do here is to actually set yourself up with a profile. There is a link down below. If you go and click that, you can come over here and then click my profile. And what you're gonna to have to do is link your MetaMask or other Web3 wallet to the website. You can then create your profile. So I've put a background picture here of the OpenSea logo. I've then put my own logo in here as well. So you can see that this is my collection and my profile. I've renamed this as Nifty Tube. And to update all of these things, you just click here and then go to my account settings. You're gonna also want to input your email address. So if you're buying or selling, you're gonna be notified when a bid is accepted or when someone bids on one of your items. Now this may get a little bit too intense with your emails popping off if you are flipping NFTs. So you can come in here and amend the settings to only be notified for the things that you decide are important to you. And you can also set a minimum bid threshold down here. So if someone bids on one of my items less than 0.01 of an ETH, I'm not gonna receive an email. If we just click back into my profile, you can see I've got one NFT that I've bought already. And this guy is part of the Lonely Aliens Space Club. So I got this one because I really like the unique look about it with his helicopter hat. And I just thought he looked rather cool and I could use him as a profile picture. Now with NFTs, there's no guarantees. Maybe this could be valuable in the future. This is a fairly new launch project, but there is also a chance that no one wants to pick up your NFT in the future. And you're just gonna understand that this could be valueless in the eyes of other people. As they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So if you like a piece of artwork like this and you're happy to own it, then why not go ahead and buy it? And any future speculation that yields a large return would all just be a bonus at that point. Now I haven't listed this guy to be sold as yet, but I will show you how to do that in a second. And if we just scroll down to the left-hand side with all of these NFTs, they have a properties tab. And this lets you know how scarce the various properties of your image actually are in comparison to the rest of the collection. So the Lonely Alien Space Club ranks my NFT as follows. The background being blue is an 8% trait. He has a very rare trait of the helicopter hat with only 1% having this. And for example, smiling has a very common trait and that has 25% of the other Lonely Aliens sharing that trait there with a little smile. Now the value of these different traits is a very difficult thing to actually price in. I could go ahead and analyze other aliens within this sector and see how they've been selling previously and maybe price mine appropriately to that. Or maybe I'm just gonna price mine rather high because I don't really wanna sell him, but with a stupid offer coming in, I may be likely to actually accept that. Up here on the top right-hand corner, you can see a variety of different things. So we've got transfer. You can actually just send your NFT elsewhere, maybe to a different wallet or to a friend. You can go to their website and view your NFT specifically on there. You can share this on social media, maybe tag on Twitter and say, just bought my first Lonely Alien Space Club and see if the community start to retweet and interact with you. I've found that in general, people are very receptive to others who hold similar items in collections. But let's have a look at how to sell. So if we wanted to sell this NFT here, we have a few different options on the table. So this is kind of like eBay meeting the NFT space here. So you may just want to set a fixed price, a buy it now. And what you would do is click on this and then set the amount that you're willing to accept. So let's just say 0.5 Ethereum's around $900. 
You can also add features like an ending price here. If you want to toggle that across, you would then set a price that you would be willing to accept and have an expiration date. If someone meets it by the end of that expiration date, it would then sell. This particularly doesn't really interest me. You can also schedule this to either post immediately, or if I toggle this, I can actually schedule this for a future date to go on sale. Or if you want to do sell it to a specific individual, maybe you know of a collector, you can click this button here and then pop their address in and that would be the only person that can then buy it. On the right hand side here, you can see the fees. OpenSea charges 2.5% for all sales and purchases. That is their standard fee across the board. Now with these NFTs, they may have a baked in resale percentage that the actual creators have baked in themselves. So for example, for the Lonely Alien Space Club, the team have baked in a 4% resale fee. So this means the total fees to be extracted from the sale price would be 2.5 plus 4% is 6.5%. So now I could click post your listing. Then if I want to post the listing up, I'm gonna to have to pay an Ethereum gas fee. And as I've connected this to a mobile wallet, it now shows on my screen, the gas fee would be $13 in Ethereum to actually post this. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do this right now as I've bought this for more of a long-term speculation. And my thinking is that if these do catch on, they get a bit of a trend behind them, maybe in a few months, these could be very valuable. Now, recently OpenSea have actually had a large investment. This is the second time they've had some funding and this time it was for $100 million and the marketplace has been valued at over $1 billion now. And this was led by Andreasen Horowitz, a very famous VC fund. So one of the reasons why I would suggest you should sign yourself up with an account here on OpenSea is that all of the big like Ethereum exchanges, the DEXs, the marketplaces over time have typically done airdrops, whether that would be for a governance token, or in this case, potentially an NFT drop, these would only be dished out to those who have used the actual marketplaces themselves. So if you're willing to dip your toes into the water here, there's a potential, not a guarantee, but a potential of future NFT drops from OpenSea themselves, maybe commemorating specific occasions. So this is one of the reasons I was definitely keen to get involved, as we've seen this throughout history on the Ethereum blockchain. So OpenSea says this about itself, it's becoming increasingly clear that blockchains represent one of the most exciting paradigm shifts in the history of tech. At OpenSea, we believe NFTs are emerging as one of the first consumer-oriented killer applications for blockchains. NFTs are simply primitive for digital goods. With brand new properties, they're unique, provably scarce, liquid, user-owned, and usable across different applications. So their mission here is to build the best possible marketplace for NFTs. And today, we're proud to remain the largest and most powerful NFT marketplace. To further the mission, they've announced a $100 million investment led by Andreas and Horowitz with some very famous and notable individuals. NBA star Kevin Durant has invested and so has Ashton Kutcher, the actor. And so this is a sign of things to come. NFTs are really going mainstream with this celebrity-based adoption. People like this put an NFTs as their profile pictures are just gonna help the industry grow and grow and grow. And if you're priced out by the gas fees on Ethereum, well, you're in luck here because they're also announcing cross-chain blockchain support for Polygon. And if you click the link here, you can actually see that they do have NFTs now on the Polygon network where you can transfer for pretty much free. There's hardly any cost to using the Polygon network and there's many faucets online where you can get a little bit of the Polygon token to trade till your heart is content. Now, all the premium like hash masks, your board Ape Yacht Clubs, your CryptoPunks, these kind of NFT projects are not going to be on the Polygon network, but this is an area that could thrive in the future. So a big funding round just taking place. So OpenSea clearly going to be one of the biggest marketplaces for a long time to come. Now let's have a little look at buying an NFT and where you may want to start to actually sift your way through what you like. If you go onto Marketplace, you could go on to see all the NFTs, or maybe you have a specific niche area that you're already into. Maybe you're into your art, into domain names, maybe you wanna get a new domain name for your unique website, or you're into trading cards or digital collectibles. Whatever your desire, you're pretty much gonna have it fulfilled on here. We've also got a stats page over here. And if we click on rankings, you can see the top NFTs by trade volume. So at this moment in time, the Board Ape Yacht Club is far ahead of any competition here. With over 9,000 Ethereum being traded, this is rather insane. 
and just shows you the scope of these NFTs. We've also got other famous collections here, CryptoPunks, SupDucks, Cool Cats, and even MeBits as well, with more and more digital collectibles being added by the day. So it's kind of hard to sift through what's good and what isn't good. But if you like a particular collection, just go ahead and click into it. From here, you can scroll through and find all the different board apes for sale. Click on view all. Then on the left hand side, maybe like on eBay, you only want to see the buy it nows rather than waiting for auctions. You could click on buy it now, whatever you fancy. And then on the right hand side, maybe you want to sort by the lowest price, for example. You can do that and see what the lowest value ape for sale right now is. As you can see, over 6.95 ETH is rather expensive. If we just click into him here on the left hand side, we can see the properties, how scarce are his various properties here. And then we can also see the offers currently live for this ape. And then you can also see the trading history. So just five days ago, this was sold for 5.35 Ethereum. He's now listed for 6.95 and someone's actually bid 6.027. So at a minimum, this person is going to rake in 0.7 Ethereum for five days of holding onto this ape. So as you can see, there's a big economy around flipping these NFT projects. If you then go to activity up here and then click your desired collection, so for example, we'll stay on the apes here. You can see how they've performed over time. So over the last 90 days, we've got the average Ethereum price started off around 0.84 ETH on the 3rd of May, went all the way up to around 7 ETH, back down to around 3.8. And now today, average price around 11 Ethereum. So when these collections do take off, the amount of gains that can be made are rather huge. You can also see more information such as the recent trading history just scrolling through here there's plenty of data to see on OpenSea but let's now just go through the process of buying an actual collectible so I'm going to tap in alien and bring up the lonely alien space club here and maybe we like the look of the laser eye guy right over here now this person's listed him for one ethereum I believe these minted at 0.06 ETH so a nice healthy gain for this owner if I was to buy it at that price if I maybe want to track this specific alien I can click up here and favorite it and if I want to actually buy him I can click on buy now. You then need to agree to the T's and C's. Ensure that you've got enough funds on hands. I don't have quite enough on this wallet right now. And then to approve this, you have to pay an Ethereum gas fee, roughly 15 to 20 bucks. As of this time of filming, maybe you wanna wait for a quieter time on the network. And then once you've completed the purchase, the NFT will show in your collection. So just clicking back to the My Profile section here, and then your new Lonely Alien, for example, would populate in your own collection. So a quick run through of how OpenSea works, how you can buy, sell, and you can see how individuals are trading and flipping NFTs to make some rather large profits. If this has spiked your interest, check out the link down below, sign yourself up to OpenSea, maybe purchase one in the hope there's a future airdrop. I certainly think there may be one and try and dip your toes into this new and expanding ecosystem. As I think once you've been red pilled on the NFTs, there's really no going back. If you wanna join our private community over on discord for the nft chat check out the link down below as well and i will see you guys in the next one thank you and goodbye